Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I would like to thank you all for subscribing to my channel and coming back to my channel. And those who haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe and click on bell icon too. It is completely free. Friends, today I am here with a very gorgeous, hardy and NASA recommended air purifying plant that is Peace Lily. This is one of the top 5 most popular house plants. It's an evergreen perennial plant which means it lives little longer like 3 to 5 years. So now let's see little bit of history of this plant. This peace lily or spathiphyllum first came to Europe in 1824 found by Gustav in Cambodian jungle. So let's move on to its light requirements. Though it can survive in dark places but if you put it in a bright spot with filtered indirect sunlight its growth will be rapid and chances of blooming are fair but avoid direct sunlight it can't bear harsh direct sunlight so most important part of this flower uh, sorry of this plant is flower so it gets beautiful white flowers which look very pretty in its green foliage it has spadics and spats summer is the best season for growth of peace lily and you will get blooms at start of summer watering for this plant should be less it needs less water just check the soil before watering it if it feels dry then only water the plant as it needs moist well drained soil we'll talk about the soil what kind of soil it needs in later part over watering may cause yellowing of the leaves some people wait for plant to droop its leaves before watering it to avoid overwatering. So friends, let's move on to the soil part. As I said earlier, its soil should be well drained. It should not let water stand in it. Okay. So when you make potting mix for this plant, take one one part of coco peat and perlite each. I will give you alternatives also if you don't have these things at your home you can use other alternatives too okay so apart from these two we will need half of part of compost and charcoal each but if you don't have charcoal you can completely avoid it and if you don't have uh, cocoa peat then what you can do take half part of garden soil and half part of sand each and you can use it instead of coco peat charcoal is to remove odor from your soil if you don't have charcoal you just skip it and increase other things quantity according so friends peace lily is a tropical plant so it loves humidity if you stay at places with less humidity then what you can do is you can use humidifier to increase the humidity or else another way is misting your plants foliage with water occasionally it will give it the moisture and um, humid atmosphere and your plant will definitely thrive next on the list is its fertilizing requirement you can give it a cow dung compost or wormy compost once a month and during growing period fertilize it every couple of weeks or else you can go for one homemade fertilizer which is really good for this plant is banana liquid fertilizer it's really good for uh, your all flowering plants so friends now let's see when to repot your peace lily if you see your planter is completely filled with all the peace lily plants or else it has become root bound that means if you see roots coming out of your planter or uh, you can see roots on the top of your soil then definitely go for repotting your peace lily and at the same time you can propagate your peace lily it can be propagated by root separation you can separate few plants and put them in another planter so you will get another brand new plant for yourself okay so next question is is this plant poisonous yes it is mildly toxic for pets and kids so keep them away from it if ingested it can result in significant irritation of mouth 
tongue and lips consuming this plant is rarely fatal so you don't have to worry much so now let's talk about its grooming keep its leaves clean all the time okay for this glossy beautiful finish what you can do clean it once a week with diluted lemon juice sometimes you get to see leaves are becoming brown in between or brown spots that is because over fertilization so do not over fertilize this plant it doesn't need much of a fertilizer especially during its growth time you have to fertilize it otherwise it's fine so next point is pest attack i have never seen any pest on this plant but sometimes you will see pest on its leaves in that case just make a solution of half glass water one drop of neem oil and a drop of hand wash and clean the leaves with that solution so your plant will be pest free friends i will definitely recommend this plant for you it will definitely increase beauty of your house so go for it it's really beautiful and hardy and air purifying at the same time so friends i'm signing off now i'm taking your leave so i'll see you in my next video till then bye see ya and thank you so much for watching my video and subscribing to my channel thank you bye bye